Hey guys, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, I'm doing an interesting video today where you guys control my Sephora cart. I'm sure you've seen videos where it's like my followers control my day, my my wig color, all this other stuff. So I, I, I know I said in my Sephora haul that I wouldn't be shopping for makeup anymore, but I, I mean... I'm a beauty YouTuber. I feel like y'all knew that wasn't true. So there were some products I was interested in and I thought why not let you guys pick what I buy. So I did that on Twitter. I've got my little Sephora bag here. So let's get into it and uh, do the rest of my face. I already have my eyes done because I forgot to pick up the Mothership palette while I was in Sephora yesterday. So a separate video will be coming on that. So I just have face products that you guys pick. Okay, so round one was a primer and it was either the Forsali Skin Tune Blur Primer or the Bobbi Brown Primer Plus Mattifier. Here is our winner. I'm kind of excited that this one, mind you, Cousin Jackie came in in the comments and let me know that this this was life, which is funny because that's kind of the reason why I wanted to try this out. I've seen her using it in videos and a couple other people, and I'm sure you guys have seen this all over Instagram, okay? The little thumbnail where they've got the dropper on their face and some some other little stupid face to go with it. Um, I had people tell me about the unicorn one and the other ones I was supposed to try that I never got around to, but you know, I'm doing it now with this new one, so I'm excited. I am a little nervous because I do have oily skin. I'm not sure how much you're supposed to put on. That was one. I feel like I need more than that. Um, oh, okay. This is not the consistency, consistency. Uh, we've already started. This is not the consistency I was expecting here. It's a little thick, she, she kind of thick. This is not how I was expecting this to feel whatsoever. I'm not mad at it though, but surprised, I guess is what you could say I am. Everything smells like rice to me, but no, this, this... I'm, I'm assuming, um, because of who the brand owner is, that this is something that has, like, natural type of products in it. I'm kind of smelling, like, forest? I don't know, like, greenery? That's the best way I can describe it. It's not, it's not like a strong, you know, like, oh, this smells like perfume type of scent, but it definitely has a scent. I'm not mad at it, though. My skin might, because I have sensitive skin, but. Okay, so there it is on my face. Do I look blurred? Do I look filled, pore filled in? We'll find out. All right, so moving on, next up we have foundation, and the options were either the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation or the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, and the winner is Makeup Forever. Can you believe I've never tried this foundation before? I have the HD foundation. I never tried the ultra HD even though this is like an old timer um, But I finally have it. I picked it up in the shade R530 which I believe is the equivalent to 180 um, Yeah, I wasn't sure what to do there with the shade so I went with this one um, Again, let's see how this goes. The foundation actually came out how I expected <laughs> the primer to come out. I expected the primer to be, you know, pretty runny, pretty watery, and it wasn't. And then I pumped out the foundation and it was it was pretty liquidy. So this is an interesting video so far. Okay, so before I move on to anything else, this is just the foundation on my face. Now, as far as the foundation goes, I'm looking, it's a, it's a tad dark and it's a little, you know, red orangey. We'll see how it looks by the end of this look. But as far as how this foundation looks on this primer, let's finish. Okay, so moving on, the next option was concealer. First Aid Beauty has a new Bendy Avocado concealer that everyone's been talking about. Or the other option was the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer, and Laura was the winner. I've actually tried this concealer before. I didn't, I didn't post the video because I lost the footage, but I don't recall liking it, I think because of creasing, but I saw it used recently, and I, I always do this where I'll try something, I won't like it, and then I'll give it away and I'll think, oh, well, maybe if I had tried it this way or maybe if I could do this or I'll try some other new product and think, well, those two might go together. So then I end up rebuying the same product again to try it a different way. I've tried, I've purchased the Benefit Professional, the Smashbox primer at least three or four times for those reasons. Yeah, I know, I have an issue. And I just say, I am quite pleased with how everything is blending in on top of this primer. 
Okay, so for all over setting powders, the options, oh. For all over setting powders, the options were Makeup Forever Matte Loose Powder and the Lancome No Shine Loose Powder. The winner was Lancome. My dumbass bought Makeup Forever. I y'all know your girl, y'all know I can't see too well. I swear in the store, I thought Makeup Forever was winning. Oh, and it won by like over 10%. Well, we're here and I have the Makeup Forever powder. Um, I guess I will do a separate video on the Lancome powder if you guys want a video on it. My, my apologies, y'all. I dropped the ball on that one. So this is the uh, Makeup Forever powder for anyone who voted for that. I got it in the shade, which I, I'm assuming the darkest one. What are you? 56? Um, and I'm just going to push that into my face. For a second there, I thought I put blush on again as bronzer, but be good, be good. So I already have blush on my cheeks, but y'all know my boo, Aunt WTF, just be teaching the girls on Twitter. Um, recently, blush on your chin has been a thing. Um, I don't remember like the reasoning that he gave for it. It made sense when I read it, so I just started trying it out. So we're gonna do that on video for the first time today. Okay, and the last poll I had was for a setting spray, which was very last minute. I literally put it up while I was in the store, but it was either for the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray or the Cover Effects Mattifying setting spray, and I was not surprised Urban Decay won. The thing is, I thought I was purchasing the travel size setting spray. Um, this does not look travel size. This looks like the full size container. So this this better be good because I'm gonna be irritated. I'm sure this probably costs, I don't know, 30 plus dollars. So I'm gonna be irritated if I bought the full size and not even like it. Okay, so I shook well. It's got this lid, I'm starting to lose my voice there. And then it's got another lid doing the most. But then again, I can see it spilling on myself. So you, you probably know what you're doing, Urban Decay. So I don't let it like fully dry. And before I was using a sponge, but I decided to start taking the brush that I applied my setting powder with and then just using that to kind of push the setting spray in because then, then I have some uh, leftover powder on the brush to also push in. So this was not part of the polls, but I made a purchase on Sephora. You know how if you do that, buy over this amount, you get this little free sample or whatever. So I got a sample of the new Laura Mercier Glow Powder. I mean, we we're trying new products that I got from Sephora and I got this from Sephora, so why not include that in this video? I'm not going to use any highlighter on my face today. I'm a little confused with this powder because just about everyone that I've watched <laughs> try this out so that they wouldn't use it as like a setting powder under your eye for your full face, pretty much just as a highlighter, but it's not a highlighter. Okay. So I put it on this brush. This is the... Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH10 brush. And because of its shape, I figured it would probably fit well. I didn't have that much on the brush, just because I was like, I don't know how this is going to go. So let's start small and build up. Okay, so this is what my face is looking like. And if you couldn't tell, I'm high key feeling my face today. I Y'all did that with your pics and, and the one mistake that I made there. I am feeling how my face came together. Ooh. Um, but first with the primer, yes. Um, You should be here in real life just to see what my skin face looks like. Facetune who? Where? Here on my face. I don't even need the smoothing tool from Facetune because this primer just, it, it did that, okay? Um. I'm thinking, do I like this more than the Tatcha primer? Because Tatcha, that primer, it smooths, it filters, but this, this takes it to like a whole new level here. And they're pretty much the same price. I think the Tatcha primer is what, $52? And this, this Farsali primer is 54. Thank you guys. My wallet appreciates it. Um, my face appreciates it too, because damn. Um, so I, I'm here for this primer. Still, you know, a little 
a little cautious because I do have oily skin and you know I didn't really use a mattifying primer um as far as the foundation goes I definitely think you know it calmed down from the application because I was worried that I was just gonna look completely orange but I think it toned down to a pretty a pretty good shade match there um the concealer I also think you know I went with the right shade and I'm liking how that finish of it is looking on my face it's a pretty full coverage concealer um but i think because everything else kind of isn't it's balancing out nicely um my biggest issue i believe the first time around was creasing so i'll let you guys know how creasing goes um the makeup forever powder it's a mattifying powder powder so it's supposed to keep my face matte throughout the day so i'll let you guys know about that but as far as how it blended in on my face it's very nicely made powder it blended in beautifully but i'm not sure if that's the powder or if it's it's the primer because i'm telling you like everything just blended in on my face today um and i think the only other thing that you guys picked out was the setting spray i feel like it dries to a pretty matte it dries your face down to a pretty matte finish but you can also kind of still have that you know skin like finish if that's what you're going for and y'all know that's what i'm going for and you know the fact that it'll probably help keep my face matte is also a bonus there um and the glow powder which you guys didn't pick but I tried it in this video I mean I haven't been wearing that much highlighter recently and I do feel like it kind of gives you that kind of glow from within type of thing if you're not trying to go that deep on highlighter so if you want it for something like that then you know that's cool you can check it out it's just you know it's, it's supposed to be like a it's it's a they call it a glow powder that's not a loose highlighter it's supposed to be a powder but that's pretty much what everyone's been using it for um I, i'll probably use it again for days where i don't want to do highlighter and again it just my, my whole fa i'm just feeling my whole face you guys my entire oh um my eyes i used the gemini palette from melt makeup and my lips are be elegance triple fudge brownie and then the new matte lipstick from mented it's mented number five so that is it for this video. I'm gonna stare at my face for a couple more minutes, maybe take a picture or two, and then go edit this video. Hopefully I can do all that before I have to go. But um, yeah, um, thank you guys for helping me create this a video. Thank you for the pics that you made. Y'all know what's best for my face more than I do, clearly. Um, Hopefully I can do this again, maybe again with Sephora or with Ulta, or maybe I'll just do this every time that I have to shop so you guys can save me trying products that that won't work for me um i appreciate it make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one bye